guys, November 16, 2020. This one here, I gotta go change an oil tank out at my sister's house. Um, I did change her boiler there recently, and the oil tank was looked kind of compromised, so we're gonna change that out also. So today's the day. I got barrels. I'm gonna pump the oil into barrels. Cut the other tank out, put the new tank in, and pump the oil back from the barrels into the um, the new tank. So we'll try to get you some shots when I get there. Early morning, probably like 20 of 8, heading over there now. And it's a little bit of work to do this thing, so I'm hoping I get done by, i got to cut the old tank up, I'm hoping to get done by 2 o'clock, 2, 2.30, something like that, get the old tank and I throw it in my scrap pen. got to cut the old tank up in four pieces. So we'll try to get you some shots. I left the dog home because it's gonna be, you know, there all day type of thing. So try to get you some shots. All right, guys, I got the boil off here. <clears throat> Shut it off. I got myself four, five barrels over here, which will be plenty of storage. I got my pump. <clears throat> this is the pump I want to use. This is the adapter three eighths by hose and then I'll go right into a hose the other holes there will go into the buckets so I just have to adapt this over there to the tank <clears throat> the old tank this is all gonna come out I gotta smash all the concrete but for now I gotta get the oil out of it I took the door right off put the door over there I took the screws right out of it so it's not in my way because the door was this way and keep opening and closing it take it right out of the way so we're gonna get this apart <clears throat> I got a new filter so I'll probably do is I'll probably back it out right here and put this right in and then just go with that that's gonna be my game plan this tank you can see it's kind of leaking here See how the oil's dripping on the floor? Right here. See how this tank is leaking? Look at this. No good. See how the tank's leaking? That's why I'm changing it. So what we're probably going to do is... Uh, we'll probably disconnect it here. Back this right out. And put this on there and just give it the old how you're doing. Yeah, it's best to go like this and make sure that that's off. I don't want to break nothing. I have to go easy because this stuff is old and fragile. Oh. If I remember right, that shut off wasn't what wasn't holding so good last time I was here, but well, maybe, maybe so. I got a new filter for it too, so. want to get the oil out of the tank without ruining it. worried about going through the filter because if there's any muck it's gonna all end up in the bottom of the, the barrels so it won't be that big of a deal if you understand what I'm saying I'm just gonna get the oil out of this thing this is just a double-ended holes right, so we can open this up now 
and that, that hose goes right into this pump, into the inlet, and then it's going to go out the outlet, goes in, goes in, and then goes out, and it's going to prime this pump for me automatically, and it's going to go right in the barrels. I got enough, I got more barrels than I need, so plug it in and pump it out. comes all the way over here under the deck she took all these boards out for me you can see the vent over there so I'm gonna have to put on the pipe I got a couple right there at the wall that's gonna be all all taken out all new I got my pipe machine set up over here speedy dry so I got a thread pipe it'll be threaded out here Two more barrels here if I need them. I used to cut the uh, regular metal blades or the sawzall. I used to cut the pipe and the tank up with. I got new blades here if I need them. I usually like to go with 18 teeth, 18 per inch. Seems to cut really good. I'm going to use up these old ones until they break. Barrels. We'll see. Let's see when the pump starts screaming. Alright, I'm gonna cut these pipes out of the way now. Cut right in the thread.
blades don't last. So I use up the old ones. So I, I make a slice down the middle, and then I slice right along all the way around. Slice again down the back. I'm coming. It's going to be four pieces. That's how I got to do it. So I cut this and get these pieces out of here. Then I can put the new tank in. When we get to the bottom, we got to scoop up all the muck and put Speedy Dry in there. Get rid of all the muck. It'd be a lot of shit in the bottom of the tank. That's the way to do it and get the pieces out of here. Not easy being cheesy, mama. When I get these out with the, the cart, then I gotta address this. Look at all the muck in there. Look at all the schmag. See it all? The sludge. I still got quite a bit of oil in here. I gotta scoop out. I'll probably scoop that out with a five gallon bucket or something and then. Put some speedy dry in there and get all that muck out of there. Yeehaw. Alright. All we're gonna have to do is looks like 965. We're gonna have to hammer drill this out, this concrete, so we can get these pieces out of here. Then I'll get the new tank in. I'll show you the old tank I got out. There's two gallons, there's ten gallons of black oil. It's got to go to the dump in a recycle bin, and then this is kitty litter and muck. What I did is I threw kitty litter in there, and I took my um, my little dustpan, and I moved it around to kind of pick up all that black sludge with the kitty litter. Then there's four pieces that go in the truck. I got to get the hammer drill and get these pieces out of here. Cheesy, Mom. Not easy being cheesy. Should come out wrong. Well.
couple in here. Oh, back with an inch and a quarter. When in doubt, rip it out. Now, a lot of guys will come out with these brass angle firematics that they sell. I won't use that. I want to come out with malleable, a nipple, you know, half by 3.8 malleable 90. That's what I want to use because I could come out with this thing. The brass one, a lot of time, will strip out. At least I know this, I can crank on it, it's not gonna, it's not gonna, it's not gonna leak. The brass ones are kind of wimpy, you know, a lot of times they'll leak. shouldn't leak because that's, that's a welder that's a welder let right close nipple got three eight by half by three eight ninety I've got the legs on I want to stand it up and get it in place now all right guys so on the bottom I like to put a ball valve there so if this thing ever malfunctions, I can just, if I have to change this filter, I like just, just shut a ball valve off. Then we got the Firematic, which has got an arrow, which is the safety. The old one used to have the chain and a fusible link. Okay? And this one has got a fusible link right there on the handle. Then I put a new filter, you know, tied into the line that was there. This is all going to come out, so it's got a fusible link down low. I'll save those. I've got a fusible link, and then i got another one up top. There. I'll save those for another job. On this here, I stuck a 10-footer in. I'm going to have to put a swing joint, and then down into the tank. So that's going to determine on if i got to move my tank or not. This is a 2 by inch and a quarter. Both lines can be inch and a quarter in my state. So this is going to be the fill, which is going to dump into the tank here. And then the fill, the vent, and the gauge goes that way. And it has clearance to miss the edge of the tank. So when it's dumping in here, right, the arm's way on this side. You don't ever want to have the arm going like this and the oil dumping on the arm because you can break it off. And before we put this in, I made sure the arm was straight in regards to this. You don't want it hitting the tank. So before you put this in, look at the arm. Make Sometimes you have to adjust it, which I did. So I gotta, I'm gonna leave this out. I'm gonna put the oil in the tank here from the other, the other containers and down below. I'm gonna refill from here. That oil is gonna go back in here. But so that arm goes down and it goes this way. Right now it's straightened out. Right now the arm's straight down. Then as it fills, it's going to go this way. And then the fill comes in the end here. So when they're filling it, you know, there's some space between the gauge and, and the fill. All right, so let me cut a, let me cut a couple of risers here. And I'll see what my offset's going to be. It's probably going to be a street elbow, a regular elbow and a street elbow. And then I'll, then I'll have to cut this riser going out for the fill. And then we'll do the vent. This tank can slide out if I have to. For a, and then I gotta I gotta fill that all in with mortar later. Alright, so what do I got here? I got forward reverse. And then I got a, a cord that comes into this apparatus here. I plug that into there. And I got a foot pedal. 
So I step on this pedal and it gives it the juice. When I step off the pedal, I could go forward and reverse. I made this thing up here. Then I got um gotta make a cut in a thread right here. That's my riser piece for the fill. It's the best plate machine they ever made. Right here. Comes apart and unscrews here. That comes off and then the legs fold up. Take that piece off, the legs fold up and you can carry it. a riser piece right there. forward. Father showed me if you can't line up a pipe, put a nipple in there, and you'll be able to see if you got to spin it a lot. You'll see if it lines up. See, now it should be able to go. I couldn't get that pipe in there. You put a, just a nipple, and it'll tell you if you got to adjust it. Because I got to put a swing joint. And I'm going at elbow on a 45 because I don't want to come too far off the wall. Basically, where the other tank was. Once I get this piece in, I'll be able to mark it outside and cut it. That should work. It's a little tech tip. A little tech tip, mama. I got a mark right here, I got a cut. Cut it, ream it. And then uh, thread it.
usually go a couple of threads past the end of the the end of the die the dies there. It's usually what I do. So I came out here. I got this it's on a 45. I want to have my my sister probably have have a paint all this stuff. Two elbows and a riser for the vent there, and it runs right over and out. I'm just gonna put this back together. Came out here with two elbows at a swing joint, and then right out. That came out. That's dumping in a tank here. I'm gonna put the oil back in. I gotta fill that hole up with mortar. I got some mortar. I gotta fill that up. But I wanna fill this tank and then now transfer the oil back. All right, so I just moved the pump over here and it's gonna pump the oil from the barrels back in the tank. Pumped in there, put the cap back in, the plug. So you can call for oil now. I did bleed the I did bleed the container right here. Right here. I did bleed it. Get the it's up to temperature. The oil is back on. Pick up my pick up my stuff and get out of here.